So there's a situation last night where Nick Great Patrick Ewing, who is the coach of Georgetown, and he looks fly in this shot, by the way. <laughs> you know I love Patrick Ewing. Now, here's Patrick Ewing in the old days when he was a Nick. He came back with his Georgetown team to MSG for the Big East tournament, for the tournament. And um, he talked after the game that he was surprised he wasn't recognized. He had to show his ID a bunch of times. And, you know, who's to say? You know, it could be a security person just doing their job and under orders to check everybody. It could be he was checked four or five times and they didn't recognize him. You never know. We had a situation very similar like that a few years ago um, when Scott Van Pelt started his nightly show at ESPN. I think it was Labor Day weekend 2015. His first guest on the show was Dan Patrick. I rolled up there with Dan and Dan went to ESPN for the first time in almost a decade. He parks in the parking lot. He goes to the uh, um, security gate and the, the kid working the security gate probably 25, 26, 27 years old, he goes, uh, can I get your name? I go, Paul Paps. He goes, can I get your name? He goes, Dan Patrick. He goes, sit down. He goes, can I get your IDs? And he had no idea who Dan was. <laughs> but he was doing his job, made him fill out all the paperwork to go in. You know, just got high security at the mothership. And, uh, but Dan, when he went out with Van Pelt, see the little thing in the corner on his jacket? Dan wore his visitor's badge <laughs> on the show. Right before Dan walked out to do the interview, the segment producer, she goes, um, do you want to take that off your jacket? And Dan goes, nope. <laughs> and, and everyone laughed, uncomfortable laugh, but Van Pelt loved it. So it, it happened to our guy. That is amazing. I love, it, it's right where you'd put like your little, yeah. 